The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, The Money Masters. Let's get a Carlos in California. Hey, Carlos, what's going on? I yes. want to thank you guys for all that you do for EFNN. I've been a tiger for over 10 years. Actually, I started listening to you before I even speak a, a word of English. Oh, really? And the, yeah, and the, and the thing that captivated me was when you make like, Rawr! I was like, wow, what, what is that? <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, and, and where I are you from? I'm serious. I'm from the south, uh, actually the, the northwest part of Mexico. I love right it. Right next to Guayabitos. Okay. It, it's uh, close to Puerto Vallarta. Okay, oh, cool. Yes, and uh, I listen from there, and then when I arrived here, I married my wife, and then I keep listening to your radio station. That's a and beautiful it's, it's thing, such man. a great thing. Now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, welcome folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate you being with us, and that's right. Carlos has a Boston accent. It's a beautiful thing. That's right. That's the Absolutely. only way to go, Carlos. That's right. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, Great and, call and, yesterday. And, 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 well, you know, it's so funny. Is that one of the people in the den said, uh, you know, uh, um, about having the Boston accent? Yeah. And I think what we got to do, Carlos, is that you got to call. I got to call up. I want to get. I want to get uh, a production done in Spanish with the Boston accent. I like that. Yeah, I totally, like that. man, I like totally. That. Uh, okay. Great let's, call. Absolutely let's, great let's, call. Let's yesterday. take a look at this market. We get the Dow right now, 28, Nasdaq's down 9, S&P's are up 4, uh, gold is flat, silver is up 7 cents, you get platinum down 6, oil's getting smoked. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Down 210. <laughs> 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 we got bonds off a half a point at uh, 142.08. Uh, King dollar. Now, King dollar is only up 8 ticks. Exactly. And, and basically, the market can't breathe. Absolutely can't breathe. Euro's back uh, 57. And, uh, you know, bottom line is that, uh, as you said yesterday, man, no one wants to go into the weekend with euros. Actually, yeah, I didn't get it, you know, because we were out last night, I didn't get a chance to do the uh, the study we were talking about from, from 5 to 6. I wanted to go back, folks, and just simply take a look at the euro as it's coming into the uh, closing session on Friday. Right. To see if uh, folks are, are, are selling it off. So uh, I, th I think one of the... One of the uh, listeners had sent me an email. I think that he, he might have been looking at the euro. I, I wasn't sure if it was the euro, but uh, uh, but that's okay. It doesn't, you know. Yeah. I was just looking to see if there was a pattern out there. No, I'm with you. you know? I'm with you. So today is, what day is the, today's, today's the, today's the, the uh, 20th. 20th. So yeah, if we go back look seven at the 13th. days, yeah, look at the 13th. 13th, let's go, I just, I'm just curious anyway, but, so, 13th. 13th. Oh, yeah, they, they killed it. <laughs> they killed it. The 13th. Uh, the euro went from 128 uh, going home down to uh, 126. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Bottom so, line, no one wants to be holding that bag. No exactly, two ways about it. Exactly. Now, let's go take a look. You know, we had Google come out with numbers. Yeah. And, yeah, she's, she's got pressure. 10% yeah, on the it's way got, down. It's got some got some volume, and it's trading below that uh, last breakout that it has. Yeah. Or, or at least it was uh, in yeah, the no, uh, no, first show. It's definitely 5, 5 99 it's, it's below it. And you do, you're talking 3.4 million versus uh, 8.5 right now. Yeah. It's got the volume. Look at uh, IBM's got the volume, too, oh, yeah, going we, in the other direction. Does it's it? Coming in, yeah, it's coming into, you know, kind of what we'll say is a junior swing point right okay. now. But you see it's got the volume coming into that, uh, uh, into the... Uh, not into there. Oh yeah, yeah. no, no, but it's I can still, see it. You get four. Yeah. You get four million. Uh, yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna. Also in the weekly. Let's see. So in the weekly. What are we gonna need in the weekly? This is gonna get interesting. This is always sweet on a Friday. So on the weekly, you're talking about forty-six million and thirty million, and we're dealing with uh, ten. Let's make that uh, 16. 22 already. I 22 guess, right? and just add another 5. No, add another and 6. And it's a short week, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. add another 6. Yeah. That's, that, that's still good. So it's 30 gonna be, million. That's going to be what? So. 20, 26, 27 versus 30 and 40. Yeah. That's still not enough juice. But, you know, uh, we'll, whoops, we'll see where this uh, baby is shaking and baking, no doubt. You know, uh, some of the, uh, well, we had Intel, Intel come out with numbers, lots of numbers, man. Yeah, you GE know? came out with numbers, you know, sold off, pushed up a bit. Uh, yeah, um, look at that, GE. Okay, so that's sideways, no big deal there. Uh, big blue's the, big blue's the number, because even if we go inside the Dow Industrials, let me just see. Big, big blue, folks, see, 
Yeah, so so check this out. <laughs> See, this market's done. This market is done, folks. <laughs> and it so so what you're looking at here is this. You're looking at the uh, the the waiting structure inside the Dow right now. Now the Dow's up 33 points. Okay, yeah. IBM is 46 of that. Yeah, and it's only up 33. Okay, waiting structure wise, Microsoft is seven, McDonald's is four, Hewlett Packard's one. But what you have is that the drag down is more dramatic. Yeah, you know you got. Uh, American Express, 9, 3M's 5, Home Depot's 2, 2. But that means all the rest of them are dragging the, the whole indice down weight-wise. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, you got the top three are uh, uh, ExxonMobil, Apple, IBM, Microsoft, Chevron. Uh, make up the, the, you know, the... Okay. Yeah. Okay, the, the, the waiting structure. Waiting structure, yeah. The waiting yeah. structure. Waiting That's structure, right. yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's beautiful. And I look at Microsoft. I haven't looked at Microsoft this morning up a buck right now. Yep. Which is, you know, we've, we've, we've been taking a look at it. We've been seeing the uh, volume that. that's in there. And it has the juice in it. how about that? It has the juice in it. Yep. It's going to be an ABC up. It has the juice in it. That's, that's going to be important to keep our heads wrapped around that. Because, yeah. I mean, Microsoft hasn't oh, actually, been up in these oh, I, areas I see here. It's still in 74 million. That's still good, though. No, 146 million it's going into right now. But that's still good. You're coming into a 42. So bottom line, Microsoft is back. It's back, no doubt. Huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so Microsoft ought to try to head up into the uh, thirty-one dollar area. Yeah, and that's and all about. I, I suspect that's all about what you're going to see, folks. We talked a little bit about it yesterday, but it's all about uh, control of the TV. That's where that's going to go because yeah. they have control of the TV through that Xbox. That Xbox, yeah, you know, is really a TV flat out yeah and yeah. that's the kinetic is going exponential the xbox is going exponential and it's like you you, you and i still buy a tv but bottom line is that if you're someone that grew up with an xbox well you have an xbox with a with a with a screen with a screen that's right yeah. you know and it's like okay they control the the guts inside it and you know what's interesting about that is that that's how they really took over the computer space nobody even knew you yeah. know you could buy whatever kind of computer you had you didn't really understand when they first started that you know it was microsoft that had the guts of it yeah ibm was the bigger player hewitt packet was the player right but that dos one two three was in every single one of them right yeah, yeah. isn't that crazy no, absolutely yes yeah. i remember reading that the first <laughs> time if you had a computer a long time ago folks you, you got the disc and you got the, the box is about this big, right? Yeah, you know yeah, about me so. because you have one of the biggest computers. Yeah. And and then the very back, you read it. I remember looking at the copy of Microsoft. They said, "Who's Microsoft? Yeah, what is yeah, this?" Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 1982, I think. Yeah. And, and the 186, the IBM 186. Those things cost fifty four hundred dollars. You, you think you think when uh, Bill Gates bought uh, bought uh, DOS for fifty grand, that was a good investment? Oh my God! Huh? Unbelievable! Right? Yeah. Bought it for fifty thousand dollars, and uh, you know, and just like. Just like uh, you know the importance of questions, right? You know, and and uh, you know he he changed his whole because questions control what you focus on. He changed his yep. whole question, you know, to wanting to be the intelligence behind all the computers worldwide. And that's and when when you do that, you know, because your primary question is where you place your focus. You know, that's how you end up uh, moving towards it. It's actually what he's done, right? And you know, and he still even you know even though his involvement with the uh, company. You know, isn't the same as it was. That doesn't mean that his question has changed. No, the no. direction of where the no. uh, company you know wants For to take sure. itself because that's bred all the way through the company. Yeah, you talk about the Xbox, you know, and and just like Apple, you know, with its products, really back in the uh, '70s, early '80s, you know, they went after the you know the education marketplace. Yes, right. Yes. Yeah, well, all of those folks, you know, have now grown up. Have right. Grown up. Okay. okay. That's so, right. You know, they took that brand, if you will. And uh, Microsoft, you know, did the same thing really with the Xbox. So when the Xbox came came out, I don't know, maybe six, seven, eight years ago, I right. guess. Right. You know, they were taking. I remember because uh, my son, you know, had had gotten an Xbox. I forget what the other thing was. Be the, uh, the other game console before it might have been right. a Sony one or what have you. But you know, what, I remember my son, you know, taking that big, huge, long Cat Five cable running from the router, okay. you know, into his room so I that he it. could be playing against people around the world, right. whatever the games that's were. That's right. You know, that's so right. that's just how the uh, you know longer term outlook. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it really is, man. And you know, you know what is really wild, folks, is that in the context that you know, uh, our children, and now they're thirty. Yeah. Um, you know, in the Christmas time. We had a few more down, and their friends were down, right? Yes. Well, yes. in between, you know, grooving, right? I was looking over, and I'm saying to myself, "Oh man, look at they're playing Xbox." See, because they grew were up they, with oh, it. Yeah. Oh, how, see how cool but, is that? But even, seriously, and that's uh, what that's what really attuned me to it. Yeah. I was sitting on the kitchen, and I was cooking, 
and uh, Timmy, which is my son-in-law, which is Tommy's best friend, um, he's sitting over there and he's playing Xbox. Right? How and about I'm that? I'm saying, oh, look at that. And yeah, that's what yeah, really yeah. tuned me into that. I says, look at that, man. That, you know, bottom line is that, you know, that's that's yeah. like you and I, you know, basically you know, looking for patents. I mean, that's their that's their pastime. That's you know right. I mean? That's right. right. No, absolutely. Yeah. That, that's why uh, this morning I was talking, you know, because we I was talking about the uh, you know us running into Nick. Yeah. Last night, and, and really talking about, you know, and I posted. What's happening, Nick? Po posed the, uh, you know, uh, really the statement that I made to him was that I can take I can take somebody that is an artist and, and absolutely teach them to be a great trader. Right. You know, because they don't need to be math oriented. First, you get so many tools on the uh, computer system that right. it's learning, you know, three or four tools, that's if right. you will. But, you know, being able to have somebody that's got that intuition from an art standpoint. But, uh, you know, I forget where I was going with this now about that, but. Uh, well, He's the, had had a had a brain moment there. Well, the but, thing that the thing that's amazing, folks, and I was telling Steve this last night. And I, I think most folks know this out here. That depending on how long you've been listening, the 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 patent setup. There's no doubt about it. Um, uh, I was telling them a story uh, <laughs> that I had a guy come up behind me. He says, "Oh, you're into those Fibonacci numbers." Oh yeah, right, right. And right. all I was into is the patent. I knew nothing about Fibonacci. This is yeah. 1992. Nothing yeah. at all. Okay, 1993 rather. 1992. <laughs> and I says, okay, so so what is this? Well, tell me what it is, right? And all as I was doing, I was doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. I just knew that I had look, been looking at the screen long enough. I said, I like that setup. And, yeah. then, and then when he explained what I was doing, right, mathematically, right, right. I was like, like oh, cool. man, Ooh, I get, get, my, yeah, get my I can, head into this. That's right. Man. I can you know measure what I mean? This. That's right. Because they're pretty. They're, 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 you know, the, the bottom line, there's no two ways about it. It's a pretty setup. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Let's go over and we take a look at uh, good old Asia. Now, Asia, uh, last night, just won't give it up. We want... we want. No, uh, it won't. We it want, was up want, uh, all across you know, the board. And I believe... Now, this is where we're going to have a, a little shot. And, and, and what I mean by that is I believe that the the markets over there will be closed. So the new year just started today, I think. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay. So, what, 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 and what happens, folks, is, is this has happened a few different times, too, is that... If our markets go south, yeah. you know, and they don't have to go south a whole bunch, but they, they go south, when they open back up, that's the shot to get back in. Right. Because they, they're normally closed, I think, for about a week. So let me see. So the 20th, so they were open last night, but I, I believe they're going to be closed now. Because yeah. the, the new year, I believe, starts today. So, the year of the dragon. So so we talk about numbers and everything. So we got the I, what I've got up on my screen is the, uh, uh, is the uh, Shanghai. Okay. Okay, closed out at 24 did it close out at twenty four thirty. No, I've got the Hang Seng. I'm okay, at, I'm at, I got the Hang Seng, folks. Sorry about that. Having a having a moment here. But what's cool about this? Steve and I had a good time last night, folks, <laughs> well, with Nick. <laughs> <laughs> but what's cool about this is, look at this. It's got a point six one eight retracement wow. off of a swing high here. Look at the expansion, one point six one eight. Right. You know, this thing here is a thing of beauty when you come to uh, Fibonacci retracement expansion numbers. That's amazing. Look man. at this. Yeah, that's Just right. Look at that. You can see that little that little butterfly in there. Oh, baby. Woo! Spread its wings, getting ready to take off. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all the Tigers and Tigers. As you stay right there, folks, we're coming right back. X Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year-end as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story Gold Mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. 
Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shree's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective and maximize your returns. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The perspective and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. In 1929, Joe Kennedy had $4 million. By 1932, he grew it into $180 million. All this during the Great Depression. The good thing about economic difficult times is that the worst economy can produce the best rewards in the shortest period of time. In fact, during the last 130 years, 61% of that time has been spent in recession. How would you like the strategies that are bulletproof against the turmoil of our economy in these fast-changing times? For the last quarter of a century, I've studied and used the secrets used by millionaires and billionaires. These are bulletproof strategies that will absolutely astonish you. I'd love to introduce you to these concepts that will absolutely change your life. You'll learn the three ways to grow any business exponentially. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, and host of The Trader's Edge, both seen daily at TFNN.com. If you're even a little bit interested in accumulating wealth, providing a better life for you and your family, then go to TFNN.com, look under Breaking News, and click on the Get Steve Rhodes Special Report link, and I'll email you this free report, Pathways to Wealth. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you uh, growling and prowling out here with us. We get the Dow up 60, NASDAQ down 3, S&Ps are off 2. You get gold up 570, silver's up 25. Um, oil, oil's getting smoked. That's down $2. That's a beautiful thing. Bonds are off 25 ticks. And, uh, oh, look at that. King Dollar uh, couldn't ha couldn't hold on up there. Let's see what's going on with King Dollar. DX. We get, I get King Dollar and the, uh, let's see here. Oh, this is even, well, this is going to be interesting. So, what you have with King Dollar is this. We, we want straight down from 8160. You get a little burst up today, but that wasn't with conviction. So it's yeah. really going to be t depend on how we come back into this uh, eighty point two six, and you're at eighty point three eight now. Because if you do get conviction off of this move, <laughs> that's going to uh, yeah, yeah, that, that sets up all the way back to eighty two. And if that's the case, this might be hey, this is going to be wow, watching this shake out, man. Yeah, it, it is going to be interesting to see where where the dollar index does close for the day. One of the things I was pointing out, you know, last night, my candles, if you will. Yeah. You know, was the weekly candle. That's right. You know, and the That's weekly right. candle, no matter, you know, at this stage, it's a bearish engulfing, you know, right. period, unless you see one huge surge today. Right. The question is, you know, is it going to just engulf one candle, or is it going to take six right. with it, Right. you know, on the weekly chart? That's right. Um, you know. Which so makes it more powerful, folks. Make, yeah, absolutely. Right. You know, which, which still... Just simply says, okay, you've got more retracement, and then the uh, market could run higher for a couple of days. And we're coming into, uh, oh, yeah. you know, some uh, some lunar cycles next week. So we'll see. We'll see if we can get the Fibonacci 
patterns and to uh, you know to work out with the uh, time. If and you know. and uh, one of the tigers just gave us the heads up. So the Chinese New Year. So they are closed right now, folks. So it, it's that's. They're going to be closed from the 22nd to 28th. Yeah. So now, now I happen to be uh, in one of my travels around the uh, world. Happened to be over in Hong Kong. Really? Uh, and was staying at the Peninsula Hotel, which oh, let me tell you, gorgeous. folks, is, yeah, that's that, that that's a place you should one, one time in your life you should stay. You know, at a Peninsula, and they're all the same. Okay. They're pretty much you can okay. walk in any room blind, really, if you will, and, and things are pretty much in the wow. same spot now. Uh, and I I wasn't tuned to the fact that it was you know the Chinese New Year right and you know I look out my uh, window and they got the you know the whole dragon thing going yes. on. and it was yes. it was great to be over there oh it has absolutely been great unbelievable. great fun to be over that there. is so cool yeah let's get a Helen and Lago hey Helen what's going on good morning guys how are you doing great Excellent. you having a good day out there I am uh huh yeah cool. yeah listen Tom um, looking for an entry point on North American Palladium uh, do you think uh, it needs to go back down to that 197 first or am I, am I too early. Okay, let's take a look at it. You get PAL. It's North American Palladium. Uh, the low is 197. The high is 793. Um, they lose money. And I wouldn't be touching this baby. You know, we bring this back to 09. You take a look at it. Um, you know, uh, what what you have to look at is that you get you get a company in the Palladium business that's losing money. That's going after its low with a uh, huge volume. So why do you want to own and, it? And no sign of strength. Only signs of weakness all the way down yeah, right now. That's what I was afraid I'd Yeah. Hear. So I thought the volume kind of contracted a little bit today, so I thought possibly... Uh Oh, no, it's huge. Well, for the week, for the yeah. week, you're already at you know, 12 plus million shares. So this this, got, this so. thing's going to a dollar. Oh, is it? Yeah. And it's probably... So, so watch this. So... You know, technically, folks, if you're watching Tiger TV, the setup is dramatic, okay? You come off the high, big volume. You're breaking lows with volume. Now, take this into consideration. If it's a bull market, right, and they haven't made money, when Palladium, you know, went from 250 to 650, when are they going to make money? Right, right. They lose money. They lose money hand over fist, too. Okay, all right. Well, you answered my question, Tom. Thanks okay. For Thanks for calling. Have, have a great nice one. weekend. Have a safe one. Yeah. The thing that is amazing, it's it's you know, it's like on on, on certain aspects. Yeah. Um, if you can't make money in a bull market, yeah. And you went up. I mean, as things pull back, when are they going to make money? Yeah, you better change. You, know? you better change your business. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just one of those deals, you know. It's like uh, the metals business is a is a strange business because the uh, the cost there's there's. If I've learned anything off all these CEOs, yeah, is that there's metals everywhere. Yeah, I mean, there's more metals than you know what to do with. Yeah, the key is what does it take to get them out of the ground? But then once you get them out of the ground, folks, what does it take to get them out of the rock? Yeah, okay. What, it, what how? You know, you can have all this beautiful gold. Yes. Platinum, palladium inside a rock. Now, what does it take to get it out? How much? Yeah. Does it take to get it out? Then what is the price at? Then. What is the energy cost to get it out? The right, energy right. cost is it's, huge. That's right. <clears throat> and that's what's hurt a lot of uh, miners. And yeah. that's why people think you can just buy a miner and, and walk away. And bottom line, it's not even close. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, all the tigers and tigresses. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the Dow 64. Nasdaq down two. S&P's off a buck and a half. We're going to be right back, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. 
You can take advantage of this trade as market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a a better trader each week in his newsletter the gold report with over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week in addition to covering the xau hui gld and dollar the gold report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market for your 30-day free trial to tom o'brien's gold report log on to tfnn.com today don't miss out on this great offer act now what type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Attention business owners, managers, and entrepreneurs. Studies show that 1 in 25 businesses last 10 years and less than 1% of all businesses generate $5 million in annual revenues. Would you like to learn the skills that separate these businesses from all of the rest? It isn't about working 10 times harder. It's about working 10 times smarter. And I can show you how. Absolutely free, no strings attached. I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, past owner of businesses at Disney, Universal Studios, Vegas Casinos, and top destinations throughout the world. Join me Wednesday, January 25th at 6.30 p.m. for a one-hour online webinar where I'll teach you how to get your dream clients, get past the one person that stands between you and the most influential people in the world, and show you the three ways to grow your business exponentially. Go to the front page of TFNN.com under Breaking News and click on Pathways to Growth, where preparation meets opportunity. That's Wednesday, January 25th. Register now for your Pathway to Growth, part of our Go Long America program on the homepage of TFNN.com. Decisions shape your destiny. Shape yours now. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. We have, uh, let's see, a Freeport Mac Moran's off 71 cents. You get Capital One down 348. We're going to go back to that in a second. Fifth Third Bank is off 56. You get Oracle up 9. We have uh, Citigroup down 31. BAC's down 4. You got Microsoft up 90. Schlumberger is up a buck thirty-eight. If we go over to Capital One for a second, you know Capital One. Is that COF, right? Yes, yeah, COF. Um, they come off the high. Uh, you get high volume, and if you want to see this, folks, okay. The bottom line is that these things are about as clean as you can get. You know, they they have high volume lows. Uh, you know, the, the equity goes from thirty-six, you know, up to this fifty bucks, and then yeah. you walk out of bed and it, you know, gaps down. This will gap down again too, man. It's not gonna. That's not gonna be a one gap affair, you know. When you gap, well, come back at least to that first gap uh, that it has here off of the uh, January third area. Exactly, back, you know. Exactly, and I suspect you're gonna, <laughs> you know, when you bring this back a little bit further, what, what you actually have lined up here is that you get a high volume low mm -hmm. that hasn't that's been our, tested. Is it already inside there? Uh, it is. Oh, Forty six twelve is a high of it. Thirty five is a low of it, and it wants to go after it. Now, see, when you look at this, folks, just so that, so, you know, yesterday we were talking about how um, subjective, you know, when you, when you are looking at these volumes, it's subjective. So, you, you know, you have to, uh, the, the 
the factual part of it is that, okay, how much is down there? The subjective part of it is I, when you're looking at it, you say, okay, now, what are you doing? Well, the way I do it is this. I, I look, I say, okay, that's sticking out like a sore thumb. Yeah. The 74 million down the bottom, right? Yes. And then what you do is you correlate the other side of it. And the other side of it is pretty clear in this one. You know, now, if you're first looking at it and say, okay, hold it, you know, you know, we went up there with 29 million. Well, if you take your cross hairs and you say, okay, what are we going into? Because yeah, it's always, that's, that's right. what are you that's going right. into? Yeah, well, the yeah, 29 yeah. million folks, okay, was going into 70 million. Yeah. So they rejected that area. Yeah, that's right. So that's okay, one so side of the moving, equation. So now it's moving down to the other And the other side. side of the equation is sticking out. Just so it's like, okay, that's where you want to go. And yeah. that's it. You don't have to do any more thinking. Yeah. You know? Well, and, and the other thing is, is while you're trading down inside that swing point still on the weekly. Oh, that's okay. A, yeah. And that's saying, you know, then, then as Tom says, game on. Right. You know, the, that's the right. bottom of it, you know, until it rejects that area. That's right. You know, which, which means you could then be in a real tight consolidation. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And when you're looking for, if you're bullish on it, you're looking for that you get down there and you reject it with lighter volume. And then all what that does, folks, is that that sets up the consolidation, you yeah. know, top to bottom. Yeah. Uh, so. And what I was showing folks this morning, you know, is, uh, is, is you don't necessarily even have to, you don't have to know how to read a chart because you're talking about volume. Right. Uh, you can pull up any chart for any equity that you own, pull it up and go find the highest volume bar that you can see on right. there that's and right. see where that's at. Is that above? Is that below where you're at? And one of the samples, you know, as I was just taking a look at stocks that were popping and dropping, Treehouse Foods, T-H-S, I think is the uh, symbol on it. And so I was talking about that this morning and where does that thing drop down to? Drops down wow. right to a high volume bar look at that, that it's man. got. That's you know, sick. now it's got a lot of volume coming into it, you know, today, but that's where, you know, if that. you, be, you know. Yeah. So it's, it's what you teach. Yeah. You know. That's about as clean as you get. And it's easy, and that that way people can then start making reward to risk decisions with regard to that's right. you know, how much more is left in it. Um, you know, I was working with uh, with a client yesterday who's got uh, GE. You know, and it was right. you know coming out with earnings. Right. Where's it at? You know, we were taking a look at the GE chart, and that was also a a thing of uh, beauty when you were taking a look at. Uh, uh, expansions and contractions because it had a 0.786 retracement off a of high. It had a 1.618 expansion. You know, it was it was up in this area here, right? You know, and it was a matter of and, and just understanding where where was it at. Yes, and then saying, okay, well, where do you think this thing could go to? What's your target of where it's going to go to? Right. Versus where it might be able to fall back. Right. You know, in the fallback position on uh, GE that you got to be careful of is look at that high volume bar. Not you know, where totally. both of our curses are at. Right. And right. you got to say, look, this thing, with nothing wrong with it necessarily. No, that's right. That's okay. Right. You know, could just easily come back into that 16, you know, 50 area. Yeah, 1686 is game in yeah. two seconds. All right. No you doubt. know, and so uh, so then you can say, okay, I'm at 16, 17 bucks versus 19. You know, you right. got $2 potentially. You know, do you believe that this is going to go up to 21 bucks before it pulls back? Right. You know, that's just, uh, so it's a matter of how you tighten up the stops or you know, or, or or what else you've got out there. Now, what would also, if you go back a little bit further, you know, on the GE chart, then what you can take a look at is, okay, maybe the first fall, you know, might come back to the uh, January 21st area because you've got another high-volume breakout right there. Okay. So, uh, but anyway, it's, and I think it's important for people that, you know, are just really starting to, you know, they're, they're, they're no, buying is. your book, it's they're taking a look at it because some of the volume aspects are a little bit subjective, if you will, the things that aren't are where is it that a stock could fall to? Oh, no, you know, no, no, it falls no, out of bed. No, 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 Most no. people want to be able to understand that so you can understand what your real risk That's is right. on you know your, your trade inside that portfolio. And when I'm saying it's subjective, it is subjective in the full definition term. Yeah. But that's why I we went through that because when you see it, it's clear as a bell. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And it'll get clearer as you actually do it. It's like, okay. But you got to understand it. it's not... It's not like a, a godly or butterfly setup. It was the very first which, thing that you which, taught me. Which is just flat out. Those are the numbers. You yeah. know what I mean? It was the very first thing that you taught me, you know, when I when I attended the Master Trader course and, you know, knew nothing about technical charting. And at that stage, I had 60-plus positions, you know, during the uh, w during the week, uh, the two-day session, we had gone through a couple of them. Right. I can tell you that uh, when I got back home, okay, or after that weekend or whatever, because <laughs> right. then you had me reading, you know, right. uh, uh, the, I was reading the book, you know, Totally trying to get into it. Right. But then I went back to look at every chart, just look for those high volume spots, look at where I was trading, right. realize where this thing could fall back to, because that was a motivation to get me to even want to come. I was I trying like to understand it. why, how could a stock right. drop by 50 bucks? How could Google or, right. or whatever it was, right. you, know, uh, when, you know. When when folks are saying everything's great, including the company. Right. 
Right. Exactly. Things are great, you know? <laughs> and then I, then I realized, I said, oh, and to put that in the spreadsheet, realized the exposure, and I was like, ooh, okay. Which is a beautiful thing to teach. Yeah, totally. Let's go to Nabel in uh, Atlanta. Hey, Nabel, what's going on? Hi, Tom. Hi, Steve. How are you guys? Very How are you doing? Good. good, man. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. No problem. What are we going to look at? Uh, wanted to look at uh, the PPLT. What will be a really good entry point on it? You get PPLT. This is the uh, uh, EFT for platinum, folks. The low is 133. The high is 189. Okay, so tell me what you want to do here first. What's the game plan? Well, what I want to do is just uh, want to play the the uh, platinum because uh, you were mentioning that it's a uh, uh, better uh, metal than the gold, and it's uh, at this point of time it's really lower than the gold. So yes, just m maybe taking some upside uh, um, upside on it and uh, holding it for a little while. So okay, so. What I would do is this. Now, what you have is this, folks. Okay, you get you get platinum. You know the PPL. Well, the PPLT. They had a low out there is one thirty six. Um, you know, you had a huge. You have two separate signs of strength in it. Um, I would sit there and wait though uh, to about one thirty eight, and you're at one fifty right now. And the re so the reason I asked, there's, a, there's what what has happened here, folks, is this: is that the last time I was on CNBC, I explained that. Platinum is trading under gold, which you can go back the last 20 years, 25 years, and that's an outlier. It's a huge outlier. Platinum can, at certain points, trade twice the amount of gold. And when I was bringing that up, I was bringing it up in the context, I know there are plenty of people that absolutely, they don't care what's going on, they want in the metals market. Right. And that's, that's why right. I brought that's that right. up, Night Nabel, okay? Because yeah. see, they're both not done correcting. That's, that's my point, you know? Um, so, uh, what you're hearing off me is that, you know, I would wait for a deeper correction because gold's not done. Gold's going to get killed, you know. I mean, and it's, gonna, it's not going to be a, a happy scene, you know. I mean, in that, in that scene, um, you know, they're bringing more people in every day. And, you know, uh, my take on it is that people don't know what they're getting involved in. You know, okay. and, and the people that, you know, there's people getting in that, you know, haven't been in. There's people getting in. You know, that figure, kind of figure out why they haven't made money in the last 10 years. There's, there's so many different things that are going on in the gold. It's an absolute mind blower. I mean, and, you and know. Part, part of your point is that, uh, you know, if the gold market does get taken apart, the rest of the metals are going to, yes. you know, follow yes. suit as and well. Then, and, then that, and then that is going to be the buy, and the buy is going to be platinum. And, and it's and a long-term long buy. Yeah. And yeah. That, and that, the, I'm sorry, I was going to say, and the PPLT will be the best... Uh, uh, vehicle to play the platinum besides the future. Yes, of yes, it, yes, it will be. My, my my take on the end of this correction, um, if physically um, and paper wise, you know, I will be all over platinum and probably gold. But uh, if I, I suspect that they're both going to that the platinum is not going to turn until the end of this correction. And that's going to be the buy of a lifetime, I think. I really do. You know, see, if you look at the, it, it, this is always intriguing to me because the metals market, I know technically and fundamentally, and platinum, okay, is all about cars, all about Cadillac converters, all about trucks, okay? And we've sold, I mean, the cars are going right through the roof. Yeah. I mean, you look at the number, so the average car right now is 11 years old, right? That, that hasn't happened in 30, 40 years, okay? Yep. The, the number of cars they're selling are going through the roof. Yeah. So that means that the demand is insane. You know, so I like the setup. And it, all this is going to be about is sitting around, and it's probably going to be sitting around another couple months. But you know what? Sitting around, as Jesse Livermore says, is the name of the game. That's when you can make the most amount of money, man. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, last question for you guys. Uh, this is a, probably a big, uh, pretty good entry point on the S&P going short. There is no no high risk uh, reward actually. Oh, there's always high risk, man. Hi, we're in a high risk business, man. There's not a high risk if you put your stop in as you're going shot right now. That's that's yeah. the money management part of it. I am shot the S and P's right now. If you go shot, okay. just put a stop. You know, g give it nothing because if this thing goes right now, it'll go. You know. Okay. Cooking, brother. Okay. 
Thank you, guys. Have a great you one, bet. man. Have a safe one. You bet. I like that platinum play. Yeah, I like. I, I listen. I, I like the gold play too. The gold play is going to be dynamite too. The difference in the platinum. Well, you you know these pl platinum folks. If, if platinum is so beautiful, it's sick. Well, I mean, that 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 chart. You know, so when you yeah. did the study, it, as you were preparing to That's go on right. to CNBC, right. and you had pulled up that graph, and you were right. just simply taking a look at history, right. and taking a look at how it was such an anomaly. Right. You know, it is so cool to actually be on that. That's okay? right. And then to be able to put it together and say, okay, so we know what the trade is going to be, but now it's about just being patient. That's right. And waiting for it to, you know, pull back into the right Just sit there and area. wait. You know, and just you got to keep it on your screen. That's right. Uh, you know, and that and that's what I do. That's what I do. You know, for for my clients and myself is, you know, <laughs> there are certain stocks that I'll see that have just beautiful setups. Right. And they'll just sit on that buy list. You know, to, to, we're just waiting, waiting, waiting. If it never happens, it never happens. It, it but sense. when it comes back to those areas, right? You know, I remember you telling a uh, story about somebody that you had also taught uh, timing the trade to. Yes. And I think he might have been in the military, and oh, all, yeah. he, all he uh, all he did was, right. was was buy uh, as the market was coming back in to those uh, uh, into in, into the uh, breakouts, into That's the right. breakouts. That's okay, right. he was patient. He was patient. He only bought as it came into that as uh, sign of strength, that breakout and, and area. And folks, if you saw that, millions. if you saw that video. video uh, oh, I didn't even know you did. A, it was a video. Oh, yeah. What ended up happening oh, is that cool. this is a tiger. He's still out there growling and prowling. Yeah. And he made over a million dollars when he was in Iraq. Yeah. And he's a captain. Yeah. And he was in the. Uh, um, he, so, he, so cool. he was. Uh, let's see. He he uh, is in charge of transportation trucks. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I remember his wife called me first, and then his father called me. And then I was at the money show, and he came up, and I couldn't believe it. I said, oh, my God. And so I filmed them. Yeah. I got his, because I have the film. We yeah. had the film up in the thing. I, I yeah. was, it was actually blew my mind. But, you know, you talk about patience, and you talk about analytical. Yes. And, and so I said to him, I says, okay, tell me exactly what he did. And what he did is what we were talking about here is that he was, he was so patient. Yeah. You know, he'd, he'd, he'd ride it up. He did the ABC up, right? Yeah. And then he would just sit there with those two or three months and wait for the whole thing to come back. Yeah. And, of course, what, what had happened, folks, uh, inside the gold market, just like now, the corrections were vicious. And if you took your money at the top and you sat there and waited. Right. And, you you know, sometimes you had to wait four or five months. but And you bought. Forget it, man. Because yeah. they, were, they were big dollars. Yeah. And he, which, was in a, he was in a war zone. Yeah. Which, which is, which <laughs> That's is, so far over the top, it's sick. Yeah, which is why, you know, when folks are listening to any of the shows <laughs> and somebody might call about a stock and you can see, boom, there was a sign of strength, the breakout. Right. You know, if you just simply put that on your pad of paper. That's right. And watched and waited for that stock, to, if it does come down to that area, you know, then you've got a lot of friends that are going to help push it back up. And what you should be able to do, too, which is pretty cool, folks, is that every, you know, whatever you're using, if you're using Think or Swim, well, put it right in your alarms. You yeah. Know, it's in your alarms. It comes off. And what I do is that you, I put it a point or two above where, yeah, where it just is. So you, know so you what, got a heads that's up. That's right. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Let's go to Tom in Tampa. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, what's up, gentlemen? How you doing, man? Hey, good. Go Patriots, huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, this is going to yeah, be a big weekend, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see them at Giants in the Super Bowl, but I think the Patriots are going to do it this time. You're not going to beat Brady and Belichick twice, and he just ain't going to happen. Oh, well, he, Brady's going to be, yeah, he'll be <laughs> uh, he'll be ready this time. You know, I right. think, you There's know, NFL quarterbacks, and there's Tom Brady. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm on that. And I, you know, listen, I, I like Manning, too, man. I love yeah. watching him oh, play, yeah. so oh, yeah, no that's going to be a beautiful thing, man. No doubt. Hey, uh, can we take a look at uh, FAZ? I just kind of tuned in about 20 minutes ago. FAZ, let's take over. a look at it. So that's the direction, 300% inverse correlation of the Russell 1000 index. You stay right there, folks. Uh, we get Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien, and Tom from Tampa. We're going to be growling and prowling. We have the Dow up 55, NASDAQ down 5, S&P's up 3. And there goes King Dollar again. King Dollar is going to give the market no breathing room, folks. The market needs some oxygen right now. We're going to be right back. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll 
you'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, My jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about $1,200. At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. (laughs) Well, I appreciate it. Now, did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. What we weighted at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York stock exchanges under the symbol GBG. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We're talking with Tom from Tampa. We're talking about the FAZ. And the FAZ, folks, is the uh, 200%, 300% inverse correlation of the Russell 1000 Financial Index. Okay, so let's take a look. So you're looking to buy this. What are we doing here, Tom? Yeah, I'm thinking about buying it. I don't own it yet. Let's take a look. You know, J.P. Morgan's coming into the highs uh, with lighter volume, and it's almost like this XLF. You know, I, I'd love it to tag that fourteen seventeen. We got Absolutely. the fourteen oh eight, but that fourteen seventeen wants to get tagged. So it's mm. like, okay, what's going to make it tag it? Do you know what I mean? Right. And if it closes above fourteen seventeen, go it's going to go up to yeah. fourteen eighty, fourteen ninety five. Right. right. So you, you, you really, this is you know, we were talking in the uh, prior segment about being patient. Yeah, you know, and you're trading inside that uh, swing point that's got a lot of volume from October 27, 232 million. Right now, the bottom of that swing point is uh, is going to be support for it. You yeah, know, which is right at yeah. 1368. So right. you got to at least let it. It's inside there. At least get it. Let it test that high 1417. Close back underneath it on less than you know. I'd say less than 180 million. Just to really you know, it's 232 is a swing point. You want to do it on 
lighter volume, and then you can fire away. Yeah. Okay. In other words, when you're right, sit tight, huh? You know, you gotta. The, the market is always testing you, yeah. and and it's always a matter of you know if you can be patient uh, and wait for the right setup. Because look, even if you're patient, the right setup and it and it fails at that swing point doesn't mean that it's absolutely going lower. You know, it's just you're you're, you're trying to put the probability right. on your side, right? And that's when you you know that's when you best fire away. And and yeah. the bottom line is that that's where it's going to talk, walk, and squawk. So it's close, yeah. but it's not squawking yet. You know what I mean? Right. Cooking, brother. Thanks, Tommy. Have a Thanks. great one, man. Have a safe one. Um, next Wednesday. Yes. You get, oh, that's uh, right. Pathways to... Pathways to growth. To growth. Yeah. Not, not to... Uh, massive. Not, not just growth. We're talking massive, massive growth, growth, right? I like you that. know what it's all about. No, it was another cool thing uh, last night was that... Uh, <coughs> and, and really, what, what Pathways to Growth, what, what part of it is about is really helping folks... I mean, give people the strategies to be able to get to their dream clients right and and you know it really was part of the part of the go along america part of coming into the new year it's hard to believe right. it's already the 20th you know and in your rear view mirror now the one of the one of the things that i'm going to talk to people about is first i'm going to teach them how to be able to get their dream clients on the phone right but i'm also going to teach them the most important second question to ask. I'm not going to share that right now, but I shared that with you. And folks, I shared that with you last night, Let right? me tell you something. And when huge. you heard it, right, you were just like, yeah, I did. you're like, oh, my it, God. There's no doubt, folks. Right. I, and let me tell you something. I've called a lot of people on the phone. <laughs> right? And 99% and of the people asked the question that I told you you absolutely never asked. The, totally. Which, right? No doubt. Which is, which yes, is you that, know, that, just so... Absolutely, right? man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was you know, cool. So that was, yeah, so yeah. that was... That was, that was, that was and so, so what's actually great is, you know, is I'm really well prepared on it and had worked uh, really all of last weekend, especially having the Monday off. That, you know, that was so nice. And yes. so I got the rest of this weekend to do it in a more of a casual uh, setting. And right. it's going to be just... Uh, this can be a blast. It's going to be a good time. And, and mostly because we're going to help folks. It, it's free. So come over, yeah, sign up. It's right on the front page. Uh, it's next Wednesday, 6.30 to 7.30. But yeah. mostly tell somebody else. You, there's got to be people in your life, neighbors, friends. Yeah, they never that listen are in to us. Business. Yeah, right. yeah, because this is, this is about business, and it really is all about keeping in the community. It really is all about being able to grow your way out because, I, you know, Hopefully you don't. I don't buy into any of the stuff that you hear out there. Oh, totally. You know, a, a, a difficult economy is absolutely, positively your best friend. And, and folks, okay, go long America. We're yeah. going up. And don't don't close your ears to the garbage, okay? Well, yeah, you know what it is? I was thinking about this today. Yeah. Oh, remember something, folks, okay? Other, you know, you get a bunch of garbage that being fed, you know, tell them, that, listen, you, you hold on to your own garbage. Yeah, okay? exactly. Exactly. Stay strong, stay long. Time it's flies. a beautiful thing. You stay right there, folks. We're going up to Newton Mass. Basil Chapman's going to be growling and prowling with you. We're going to come back here. Nico's going to keep you healthy 12 to 1. Absolutely. David White, 3 to 4. And we're going to be back 4 to 6. Have a great weekend, folks. Live with gratitude. A beautiful thing.